Hi guys, welcome to the end of the season, episode number 12 of Chesterfield FC. And we are back. Last time out we played Stockport and Woking, we lost both games. Next up for us was Barrow, who we beat 2-1. Louis Crowther and Leanne Gold scoring the two goals in this one. And Kyle Jameson getting the late goal for Barrow, but it was too little too late for them. Marcus and Angus scoring in between two Mitchell Curry goals ended up in a 2-1 defeat against Sutton. But then we beat, who was at the time second place, Cheltenham 2-1, Mandeville penalty and Joe Rowley scoring after an early Finlay Armstrong goal put them 1-0 ahead. And then top of the table, they were virtually champions. In fact, they needed to win this game to become champions. Torquay came to Chesterfield, we beat them 2-0, then Angus got in both goals in that game. That was huge for us, massive momentum boost, massive result for us. Then we played Weymouth, and um, we went 2-0 down quite early on. McCoy and uh, Tiki scoring for Weymouth, before two Mandeville penalties gave us a point. They had Daniel Quick sent off as well. So then we come into the game today against Fylde, who are 9th, and Dorch Hammer, who are 19th. We are one point behind Woking with six left to go. We could still finish up in fifth place, um, Cheltenham, Wrexham and Woking ahead of us. So these are massive games and you see Woking play Wrexham. So if we beat Fylde today, we are more than likely into the playoffs. If Woking win, it will still be a point behind them and um, a couple of points behind Wrexham. Final day, Wrexham play Bromley. Uh, Woking play Altrincham, so we really need to get a result in this game here against Fylde. And this is the lineup that we are using today against Fylde: Coddington goal, Yarny Evans, Makari Maguire, Mandeville McCaw, Early, Whittle, Rose, and Angol. Uh, up top for us there: Crowther, Harrington, Biggins, Denanga, and Jones on the bench. This is such a massive game for our season. Such a big game. Obviously, Fylde still have playoff hopes themselves, so they're going to be really up for this as well. And it's all about what happens elsewhere as well. We just need to do our job in these final two games. Fylde are level on points with us. So, win of this game, you'd imagine, goes into the playoff. Sears corner comes in, and it's off the bar, and Yarny heads clear. Pew back in, early heads clear this time. And Hewton's going to go back to Burke. And that was an early warning sign there from Fylde. Dangerous from the corner. Woking Wrexham 0-0 still there. I mean, if Wrexham win and we draw, we go into the playoff places on goal difference. But then we're level with at least two points. Obviously, Barney just a point behind us as well. There's a lot to come into play here. McCourt with a free kick. Drills one into McCourt's header. Lewis McCarry gets his first goal of the season. What a time to score for us. His contract is coming up at the end of the season. We might be looking to sign him on a free. Of course, he is a low knee at the moment. Barnett just go 1-0 ahead as well. It was drilled in. McCarry gets up and heads home. It's a lovely header to beat the outcoming goalkeeper. That puts us into seventh place as things stand. Roking, Woking Wrexham still 0-0 as we come towards half-time. Fylde haven't had the shot on target yet. That was our only shot of the game so far. And we have the lead. Angol is complacent, which is one thing I'm a little bit worried about. Let's go and encourage them. Um, still nil nil. There, Barnet has a worse goal difference than us. Evans looks out for Whittle, but Pew intercepts. Looks forward, and the guards is in behind here and blazes it well wide. Poor, poor effort there. Gashed arm. Mandeville can play on with that. It's a gashed arm. Still nil and nil there. We're going to have to look to make some changes. Rose off for Denanga. Um, Yarny off for Harrington. And we'll keep one sub in our pocket just in case we want to be sensible here. Wrexham are now winning as well, so that makes it a little bit better for us. Corner from Mandeville, the second goal will be so much more comfortable. It's easily headed clear. Then Anger's going to pick that up, though. Pulls it back to Early. Who looks cross-field, and Denanga might be in behind any years, and it's a decent save. And the flag goes up for offside anyway. With five minutes left of this game... 
we are going to have to make another change. Um, Angle can come off for Jones. Then Angle is going to lead the line. We're going to go a little bit more defensive. We're going to try and see this game out these last five minutes. Altrincham have pulled one back against Barnett. It's still 2-1 there. We're into stoppage time and there's a highlight. Denanga wins it after McCourt plays it to him. Mandeville in for Denanga. Can we seal it? Straight at the goalkeeper. Could that come back and bite us is the question. No, it will not. We've got a 1-0 win. That's all that we needed. And let's get the final results elsewhere. We are currently in the playoffs. It finished 1-0 to Wrexham. Barnet 1 2 1, so they remain a point behind us. We now can't finish any higher than 7th, but Barnet, Woken, and Fylde can all catch us. So, yeah, there's still a lot of work to do in this final game. Gash Army can play through that. That is all. We'll come back to that Dulwich Hamwick game in just a second to finish off the season. Okay, and we're back against Dulwich Hamwick. They are safe, they have nothing to play for in this game. We have everything to play for, so we need to go out there and perform our absolute best. And the team that I've picked for us to go out and do this today is Coddington in goal, Yarny, Maguire as the fullbacks, Macari and Evans continue in the centre of defence. Mandeville on the right, Gonda on the left, Early and McCourt in midfield, Rose and Denanger up front, with McLaughlin, Harrington, Biggins, Crowther and Jones on the bench. The reason for no Leangol is he's out injured. He's picked up a damaged foot. He's got another three weeks out. So yeah, he was ruled out of this game. Otherwise he might have been in the team. Um he's he's played decent even though you know he was complacent last time out. Media have been on our back. Let's go with what the assistant thinks. And yeah, this is just such a huge game for us. They've gone five at the back as well. So, of course, we need to be keeping an eye on what's happening at Barnet and at Fylde. We have a corner early on. We win and we're in the playoffs. It's that simple. And it's flicked on and it's a great save from the goalkeeper. And Yarny's offside on the rebound. We'll see here. It was flicked on from Evans. And the volley from Denanga. It's an incredible save from the goalkeeper to keep that out. And uh, keep it at nil nil. Dulwich Hamlet with the throw in. Back here we go to McKinnon. McGregor plays it backwards. And I don't mind them coming backwards. That's fine. As long as we, you know, we get out to them, we stay structured, stay tight defensively. Back here we go in a little bit of space. Finds McKinnon. Who hits one and Collington pushes it over. It's fine. No need to make any risks. Just get rid of the ball. Get it over that bar. Corner from Dulwich Hamlet. Can we get rid of this? It's towards the back post. Makari heads clear. Then Anger is going to pick that up. Has a bit of space to run into. Doesn't particularly have the support. Goes towards the corner. Finds Gonda. Now there's a bit of support. Then Anger tries to cross. It's blocked. And he was offside. And there was no real need for him to be offside there. At all. Filed are now beating Torquay. But they can't catch us if we don't lose. Maguire to early. For Gonda into that channel. Can he find a cross? He can. It's headed clear though. It's towards Mandeville on this near side. McCourt's going to pick up the second ball. 1-2 of Yarny and then finds Mandeville. Gets it back. Yarny beats his man. For Mandeville to get a cross in maybe. He pulls it back for Yarny. Tries to find Mandeville, but it comes back to him. That's a foul there for McGregor. And, yeah, it's going to be a booking for him. Oh, it's his second yellow. I thought that I didn't realise the yellow was already there. As Giovanni McGregor is sent off very, very early into this game. Barnet are winning. So they go above us. We now need to go positive. We need to find a goal as things stand. Who are Barnet playing? They're playing Kings Lynn. McQueen has scored a penalty there. We go into half time at 0 0. Um, a man down. We need to get a result here. And Courage. Maguire with the throw in. Denanga takes a touch, gives it back to Maguire. Find 
a decent ball, header clear, Rose to Evans, early, Rose hits one, it's blocked, early on the ball, Maguire hits one, Lawrence Maguire, fourth goal of the season, it's a lovely goal, he just places that in the bottom corner from outside of the area, and that's a massive, massive goal for us, and if we can hold on to this against 10 men, this will put us in the playoffs for the second year running. Early did well. I thought he was going to shoot here, but he just finds Maguire, who first time tries one and finds that bottom corner. Keeper stood no chance coming back across goal from there. It's a corner from Mandeville now. It's gone through everyone. Wilson smashes it clear. Connington. It's going to take his time to get to that. I mean, there is no pressure on us now. Time is on our side. He just takes his time and then smashes one downfield. Deborah heads forward, though. Alassani to McKernan. Maguire tries to step in, and he finally does. He took a couple of attempts, but he wins the tackle in the end. Mandeville to Yarny. Early, and there's so much space now. They're down to 10 men. I say fine gone there on this side mcguire's gone for that overlap now looks for rose who will keep that in cross for denanga's head and it's just wide as well let's go and do that here let's go and make these full backs complete wing backs let's go and try and exploit some of that space that might be arriving now that they're down to 10 men of course we still need to be careful they are a threat on the counter attack as we come to 20 minutes to go. Uh, Crowver on for Rose. Maguire off for Jones. And we'll keep it as that for now. I sort of want to, you know, rest players knowing that we have three playoff games to play if we want to get promoted. Uh, Mandeville off McLaughlin will go along with that. Five minutes to go. File are still winning. We are still winning. Barnett is still winning. We're into stoppage time. It's a corner for Dulwich Hamlet. Towards the back post. And it's off the line from Jones. Oh, and that is a massive moment. Bakayoga to get ball back in. It's towards the back post. It's blocked. Hyde. The chance is still here. Cross comes in again. Evans clears. And it's straight into Coddington's hands. Oh, and that was far too close for my liking. Jacob Jones with a season saving goal line clearance and we have somehow scraped into the playoffs. Wow. What an end to the season. Barnet get the win, Fylde get the win, but in the end it's just not enough for them. We finally see through that win against Hard last time out was so crucial. Torquay win the league by two points in the end, even though they lost today. They were already champions. I believe we play Wrexham. Hartlepool play Cheltenham. If we go through, then we'll play Yeovil. And, yep, yeah, playoff spots. Finally get there. We do play Wrexham. We will be away from home. We've got five days in game before that one, but you will have to wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a playoff episode. I'm so glad we've made that in. We were under pressure for so long this season. We were expected to reach the playoffs. This was struggling all season. They want to reach the semi-final now, minimum. Um, Wrexham will be tough. What have we? What did we do against Wrexham this season? We lost at home early on in the season and lost away as well. So they beat us in both games, 5-1 on aggregate this season. We need to change that. We need to change that, but we will see that tomorrow. If you have enjoyed this video, please do smash that thumbs up button. If you're brand new here, do subscribe to the channel to see more Football Manager content. FM22 is coming out very soon as well. There's plenty coming for that on the channel once it comes out. Until next time, I've been Loki Tuna. You've been fantastic. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.